Hey there, I'm Caleb Brown. Welcome back to my channel. Um, and today I'm really excited for what we have on our table here. This is the largest saltwater clam. It's called a gooey duck. And there's two parts to this. There's this shaft here, and then there's this bottom part, the kind of belly or the breast. And what these guys do, they, they, they sit in the sand, and this siphon will actually stretch up uh, two, even three feet above the sand so they can uh, breathe and, and get rid of some waste and, and things like that. You know, it's, it's a clam. It's a big old clam. And much like clams, they're delicious. Um, I actually haven't had it yet, so I hear they're delicious. But today we're going to try it. Um, and so like I said, this is divided into basically two parts, uh, both of which you can eat. They just have kind of different flavors and, and different textures. Um, your shaft supposedly um, very crunchy, almost like a cucumber. And then your breast or your belly here, and I can tell you just by touching it right now, really soft, really delicate. And so I'm really excited to dive in there. So really interesting creatures. So we are gonna try these kind of sashimi style, uh, raw. And then since we have so much here, we got a pound of gooey duck. We're also gonna do a ceviche. So just real simple citrus, tomatoes, cilantro, things like that. Something you can throw on a tortilla chip, you know, maybe getting ready for the big game. Uh, you know, you wanna bring some gooey duck ceviche to the big Super Bowl game. Uh, I don't blame you. So let's go ahead. And a big part of this obviously is how do you even maneuver this? How do you get to this point where you can eat this? How do you clean this? Let's go ahead and and kind of take apart this gooey duck, get the shell off. Um, there's kind of an outer skin here we need to remove from the shaft, and then we'll be able to slice it up and eat it, and then move on to our ceviche. So let's go ahead and get started. So our gooey duck has sort of a skin covering the neck, and we wanna remove that before we eat it. And the easiest and quickest way is to simply drop it into boiling water for only 15 to 20 seconds. Um, we do not want to cook this at all. That's why we then drop it right into ice water after that. But this will help us remove that skin. Okay, so now that we have very briefly, 15, 20 seconds, um, dropped our guy into boiling water and then quickly blanched uh, him into some ice water. And you can see his shell actually smashed uh, by itself, just kind of broke open uh, just with that temperature change. But I don't think that's gonna change too much for us um, because the outer skin is doing exactly what we want it to do. So let's go ahead and take this shell off on both sides. And let me kind of bring the camera in a little bit closer before we do that. So you'll notice here, uh, some of this did expand, but there are some little pieces in here. And you really, if anything's catching, you just bring your knife across the whole way and it opens right up. And this is wild. I feel like I'm at the beach. Uh, this smells like vacation. This smells exactly like the ocean. And so you'll see again, this top part, the siphon or the shaft, and then this part down here, the kind of belly or breast. And then this is the stomach. In Japan, they take this, the stomach, and boil that and make a stew out of that. Um, so I'm gonna save that, but for the, our purposes today, we are just gonna chop that right out. And then we're going to divide our belly and our siphon. And there you have it. Now there is a little bit of sand in the belly, um, so we're gonna wash that out. Let's go ahead and take the skin off of our siphon. And look at that. So there it is. Uh, here we have that kind of belly, uh, that breast. Um, and here we have our deep skinned. <laughs> it's making sounds, all kinds of air coming out of it. Um, but there we have our siphon. And look at this. So this is the skin that would come out. So like I said, that clam under the, uh, under the sand and this stretching out like that um, to kind of breathe and, and do everything it needs to do. Incredible, this is amazing. I can smell the sand. I can smell the, the sea salt in that water. Absolutely phenomenal, it smells so fresh. 
really, really excited. Um, so let me kind of clean this up and we're going to slice up some sashimi, taste it, and then we'll make our ceviche. After butterflying the neck, you will likely find a little bit of sand um, on the inside, and we can just use the same water that we blanched it in to kind of clean it out a little bit. Okay, so now that we have both our pieces, our kind of breast here um, and our siphon, let's go ahead and cut off some very thin slices of each and try it just straight up raw. Uh, straight up sashimi style. I should probably have a more flexible blade for this, but I just don't have that. So we have to make do and I think we're gonna be just fine. So let's go ahead and slice up. Okay, so here we are with both kind of very thinly sliced, or at least as, as thin as I could get them. And then this is just a little bit of soy sauce, uh, olive oil, and lemon juice. Super simple. Let's go ahead and start with that coveted siphon. Oh yeah. Wow. Wow. That tastes so much like the ocean. Wow. Holy cow, that tastes so fresh. That's wild. Um, I mean, truly the best way I can describe it is just, it, it tastes like the ocean smells. Amazing, really, really nice texture for a nice crisp crunch to it. I've heard it described as, as cucumber before. And I don't know if I'd go that far. I actually think it's a little firmer than that, but, um, Really, really nice and, and a crunch that I wasn't truly expecting and a, and a crunch in a good way. Now let's try that uh, that belly, that breast, because um, I'm really interested in that because it, it sliced up so thin when I was when I was touching it uh, before we put it into the boiling water. It was just so, so, you know, just delicate. It felt like a pillow. Uh, so let's try it. Mmm. Wow, I had no idea it was gonna be that sweet. That's amazing. Wow, skip, just cancel every vacation. Just just order a, a, a gooey duck. Wow, that is insane. No sauce this time. Oh, wow. You know, I could do without the, the soy sauce and the olive oil. Man, that the lemon, the acidity in that, especially with this part of it, with that breast part of it, works so well with how sweet it is. Holy cow, this is amazing. This is going to be a great, great, great sous vide. This is gonna be so, so nice on a homemade tortilla chip. We're actually not doing homemade today, but this is going to be so nice on any tortilla. Um, and these would be good tacos too. You could do a little tacos um, with these for this is the protein and that would just be out of this world. This exceeded my expectations. 20 fold. This is amazing. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um, let's get our ingredients together and make uh, ceviche. I'm really excited about that. I will include a recipe for the ceviche I made in the description of this video, but really as long as your foundation is plenty of fresh citrus, you're going to be just fine. Now I might get put on blast for using a unitasker in the kitchen, but truly I find that a specialized device for cutting a mango and getting that middle seed out easily um, is a real lifesaver um, and I will not apologize for it. I think it's great. Now, of course, we'll take the rest of our gooey duck and just kind of chop it up into little bite-sized pieces. Um, I personally prefer smaller um, bites, but of course, that is totally up to you and your mouth. As mentioned, the recipe for this ceviche will be in the description of this video, but into this giant bowl, we added the rest of our chopped gooey duck, a little bit of lime juice, lemon juice, 
chopped tomatoes, red onions, cucumber, red bell pepper, salt and pepper to taste, and of course, mangoes. All right, and so everything's been kind of mingling in here for eh, about 15 minutes or so. Um, I just want to grate some garlic into this, right? Just a real fine kind of last minute garlic addition. Can never go wrong there. And while we're at it, we have about half a cup of diced cilantro. Um, obviously, if that's not your thing, you can leave it out. It is very much my thing. It's probably my favorite ingredient in here, but that is truly the beauty of this. You can make it exactly as you'd like it. And so there we have a really, really gorgeous gooey duck ceviche. And I got a couple tortilla chips here. Let's give it a shot. We're getting phenomenal heat, but not too much heat. We're getting a lot of sweetness, not only from the gooey duck, which we mentioned earlier is a little sweet, but of course we added mango, really, uh, really sweetened things up there. And then bringing everything together, of course, is all of that acidic citrus, really getting a lot of that lime and lemon coming through, bringing everything together. A lot of onion, tasting that garlic we just put in there. Really, really a wonderful thing. This is um, one of the best ceviches I've ever had in my life, truly. And there you have it. Thanks so much for allowing me to fanboy out on this beautiful gooey duck. Been so excited to try one for a while. We got to try it raw. We got to try both that breast as well as that shaft, that siphon. And then we got to make this really phenomenal, absolutely gorgeous ceviche out of it. Getting a lot of that citrus, a lot of that sweet mango flavor, and then you're getting that oceany flavor from our gooey duck. It's really, really phenomenal. So, so, so happy with this one. What, what an interesting creature, right? I hope you learned something. I mean, what a bizarre and beautiful and fascinating and interesting creature. The oldest known gooey duck out there is 168 years old. Each little notch, uh, just like a tree, each little notch on, on its shell is one year. And there were many, many, many on the one that we cooked up today. So, um, you know, Paying honor to the gooey duck, um, really, really, really a pleasure um, to eat it multiple ways. And like I said, I really do hope that you learn something. So please like, subscribe, follow me on social media, and I'll see you next time.